Christianity. Today, what I want to talk to you about are tips and tricks to have a successful no-buy, or at least make this no-buy time easier for you. In case you don't know what a no-buy is, a no-buy is a period of time that you set for yourself. My cat just jumped on the table, I'm sorry. In which you set for yourself, in which you tell yourself that you are not going to buy any makeup. Everyone has different rules for no buys. Most people don't buy even replacements since they already have plenty of stuff they could work with. Mm, other people are like, I'm not gonna buy any new makeup, but if I run out of, I don't know, a mascara or skincare or anything, I'm gonna run and buy it. So, you know, match it to your own preferences. I also want to start a no buy next month, so you know I need to follow a bit of my own advice, or else I'll, I'll be a hypocrite. And I know very well how to be a hypocrite, so I'd like to be an honest woman for once and tell myself that I'm not gonna buy makeup and actually not buy it. So let's get started to my first tip and trick clear out all of your wish lists. On every site, even the ones you have written down, throw them down as a trash out of sight out of mind maybe most of these products you wouldn't even think about if you didn't keep seeing them in your wish list and if by the end of your no buy you've forgot, forgotten about them then it's clear you didn't want them that much anyway speaking of clearing unsubscribe from all mailing lists that includes sephora alta brand websites beauty magazines, all wish lists that could trigger an impulse purchase or you telling yourself, oh, you know, that, that's pretty, I need that. Like, no, if you told yourself you're going to do a no-buy, then you, you're probably at a point where you certainly don't need that extra thing. What I like to do after, like, after I purge all of this is um, write them down, write all of my subscriptions down so i don't know i have a sephora subscription i'm subscribed to bh cosmetics to makeup revolution whatever and then resubscribe later when i'm done with my no buy just to keep up on whatever i kept up with because i must have must have signed on for some reason there another one is i'm subscribed from youtubers and instagrammers and if you don't want to unsubscribe from them, uninstall the app, don't go on the website. There are plenty of website blockers that can help you with that. The thing is that the more you expose yourself to the beauty world, the more you're gonna buy. It's just human nature to want what your neighbor has. If you really do wanna watch YouTube, try not to watch beauty videos. Um, don't even bookmark them for later. There plenty are kind of gonna come in the future that you will be able to watch so there's no need to be like there won't be any more youtube videos in the future and i need to bookmark them all Just, no no your favorite youtubers will post after you're done i i promise another one is a very obvious one do not go in stores do not casually stroll in sephora just because you're bored do not go into alta just because do not go into the drugstore do not browse the beauty section at the pharmacy otherwise you're just like an alcoholic strolling around in a bar where you're gonna be tempted by, by all of the pretty liquors but you're not gonna be able to touch a drop and eventually your concentration and your willpower will slip there's a thing called decision fatigue where you make so many decisions that eventually your brain goes on autopilot and autopilot for makeup junkies is usually yes i will buy that lipstick yes another neutrals palette please yes another palette where i have all of the colors already but it's new and shiny so don't do not force yourself to make these decisions of am i gonna buy it or not do not test your willpower what do you have to prove to anyone just keep out Speaking of keeping out, keep out of makeup discussions forums unless they are like, I don't know, for example, Reddit Moa Circle Jerk discussion is a nice one. Uh, MUA Rehab also on Reddit is a good one to frequent because they're not consumerist oriented. But if you go to um, forums where they discuss products, 
you're gonna be tempted and let's not let's not dance with the devil when we can just stay inside of our own houses and you know have a pizza and not go through Dante's inferno of makeup Speaking of, go to Makeup Rehab today. I actually love that subreddit. It's really helped me shine a light on my makeup habits. Sorry that the table keeps shaking. My cats just love to waltz around. Anyway, this subreddit really helped me identify my makeup habits and my makeup failures. So if you want a supportive group when you can, can commiserate in your suffering of not buying makeup or having too much makeup or being tempted by makeup, just go there. They're really nice. I do recommend it. If you have a big problem with impulse shopping, just grab cash from home just for what you need. Calculate approximately what you need. And maybe go a few dollars more in case something happens to be expensive, but not enough to buy something new in the makeup uh, aisle. I personally don't do this, but you know, if you need it, it might be a good idea. Speaking of money, set a budget. Um, if you don't want to do a very strict no buy, but you want to do a low buy, then make a budget. For example, during my last no buy, I had a budget of approximately $30, which uh, may seem very little to US folk, but here in my country, it might get me like, I don't know, two blushers and a lipstick or a new palette or something like that. So by limiting myself, I really had to think about what I wanted to buy. Of course, you'll have to adjust this budget to your own income, preferences, goals, and your country's standard of living because as I said, $30 for me might be plenty. $30 for, me, for you might not even get you a burger menu at McDonald's. I don't know. Another one is a bit less direct. It takes some more psychological route to convincing you not to buy. And that is do an inventory of your makeup. Everything, every pencil, every lip liner, every palette, every, everything, every single. If you're doing this no buy because you have too much makeup and you're spending too much on makeup, then the excessiveness of your collection is surely gonna convince you that, you know, for this time being, I don't need more. And do we really need more? I mean, let's be frank, we buy makeup because it's a nice hobby and we like shiny pretty things, but we don't need more of it usually. Nobody needs more makeup, we just like it. And if you keep that in mind, that you do not need it, you do not need it, you just want it, whatever that thing is, it will really help with your mindset during a no buy. I'm gonna do a no buy update after I'm done. I hope I won't fail. Keep your fingers crossed for me. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, eventually comment if you have the time and inclination. And I hope I'll see you on my next video. Bye.